Welcome to Pulse for Thursday, April 4th, 2024. Today's story? This week, the typically tranquil world of stablecoins is alive with excitement. We're delving into Ripple's bold move, PayPal's global vision, and Angle Protocol's innovative yield-bearing stablecoin. It's a thrilling time for digital finance, so let's dive in. Ripple, a leading name in blockchain and the force behind the XRP ledger, is making a strategic entry into the stablecoin fray, challenging established players like Tether and USDC. With a market projected to explode to $2.8 trillion by 2028, Ripple is attempting to position its dollar peg stablecoin as a cornerstone of trust, stability, and utility in digital finance. This new stable, promised for release later this year, will be underpinned by a 100% backing of U.S. dollar deposits, short-term U.S. government treasuries, and other cash equivalents. Ripple plans to introduce this stablecoin not only on its XRP ledger, but also on the Ethereum blockchain, leveraging the widely adopted ERC-20 standard for broader accessibility. This entire story shows that Ripple's initial mission of building blockchain tools for banks is due for a pivot to where modern banking is moving public, not private, distributed ledgers. Additionally, Ripple appears to be looking to differentiate itself from other asset-backed stables by emphasizing rock-solid backing assets and aiming for transparency with public audits. Meanwhile, PayPal, the Silicon Valley behemoth in digital payments, is breaking new ground by integrating its PYUSD stablecoin into international money transfers this is the next step in its hand-in-glove relationship with exchange and custody firm Paxos. This move allows U.S. users of PayPal's Zoom service to send money across borders to roughly 160 countries without incurring transaction fees, a game-changer in the world of remittances. Traditionally, sending money internationally has been costly, with the World Bank reporting an average cost of over 6% for transferring $200. PayPal's initiative with PYUSD aims to dismantle these barriers, promoting a more inclusive financial system. The introduction of PYUSD for cross-border payments is a testament to PayPal's belief in the transformative power of cryptocurrencies and its commitment to driving their mainstream adoption. This strategic push into the stablecoin market, especially at a time when giants like Ripple are making similar moves, highlights the intensifying competition and the potential for stablecoins to reshape global financial transactions. Finally today, Angle Protocol, supported by the venture capital titan A16Z, is unveiling a groundbreaking U.S. dollar-pegged stablecoin called USDA that does more than just mirror the value of the dollar. Unlike traditional stablecoins, USDA is designed to generate yield for its holders, drawing from returns on real-world assets like U.S. Treasury bills and revenues from DeFi lending. This approach not only offers a promising investment vehicle, but also challenges the status quo set by market leaders USDT and USDC, which do not share the yield earned on their backing assets with holders. With the launch of USDA, Angle Protocol is not just releasing another stablecoin. It's proposing a new paradigm where stablecoins act as both stable value stores and sources of passive income. Furthermore, by aiming to establish a Forex hub, that facilitates fee-less conversions between its dollar and euro peg stablecoins. Angle is addressing a significant pain point in DeFi, the lack of efficient on-chain Forex markets. This bold venture into yield-bearing stablecoins could herald a new era in DeFi, transforming how investors approach stable value and yield in the cryptocurrency space. And that's a wrap on today's Pulse. This week has been a relative roller coaster in the stablecoin world. Of course, as the landscape evolves, we'll keep you updated on all the twists and turns. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.